Hey, this is Roland for NetbookNews.com, and I'm in London right now at the Dell Technology Camp, and they're showing off, besides all the other stuff, the Latitude 2110, which is an upgrade from the 2100 using a, an Intel Atom N470 processor that's running at 1.83 gigahertz. So it's a bit faster than the old model. Plus, Dell has done some refinements on the new one. For one, there's a new high-resolution display available that's running at 1366 by 768, still keeping that 10.1-inch resolution. As you can tell, it's still very readable. It's a sharp display, although it has a glossy display right here. And we'll just take a quick look around. As you can see, the LEDs are pretty light. I, for my part, find that pretty bothering, actually. Because if I'm looking at the screen and the LEDs are brighter than the screen itself, that's not too good. Well, let's take a quick look around. As I said, it has a 10.1 inch display with a high resolution and there's a chiclet keyboard that's actually pretty nice to type on. Feels a little bit flimsy, but the reaction and the pressure points are pretty good. The keys are not entirely flat, so that makes it easier to type on them and to find them. I mean, all the other netbooks with chiclet keyboards are pretty typable too, but this one right here with its curved surface is, is even nicer to use. Um, this device right here has one gig of RAM, 160 gig hard drive, there's N Wi-Fi in there, and there's a model available with a touch screen. This one right here doesn't have touch. All right, let's take a look at the inside first. Up here we have a tiny webcam. The resolution shouldn't be too high. I guess it's a 0.3 megapixel. There's speakers on the side, both sides of the screen, which actually makes it look like you could actually plug in a 11.6 inch display in this device easily. Um, up here, we have the power button, the typical status LEDs for caps lock and num lock and scroll lock. Over here, there's separate buttons for speaker adjustments. Down here, status LEDs for power, hard drive usage, battery status, and the Wi-Fi. Down here, looks like there's some vents again. I don't know if there's speakers back there because it's got speakers up there, so. There's an SD slot right here and another fan hole. The touch trackpad is actually pretty much decent sized. The Mete finish makes it easy to scroll on it. Feels pretty good. Two separate mouse buttons that are responsive, but the click ways or the lift to click is not very high. Let's take a look at the sides. Here we have two USB ports, an Ethernet port, there's a power plug back there and a Kensington lock. On the lid, which is non-glossy, which is nice, is a status LED that actually tells the teacher, or is supposed to tell the teacher, what the student is doing. On the back, nothing except this glossy slide-out, slide-in thingy there, where you can put a sheet with her name on in there. On the other side, there's another canceling lock, so you can put a handle on the device. The VGA out, the vents for the CPU, another USB port, plus the typical audio ports. Yeah, let's take a look at the bottom. This one right here is the model with a three-cell battery that's got 28 watt-hours. 
should last for about three to three and a half hours at most. Are you sure? I'll show you a picture of the 6L version in the video later on. Hey, this is Roland for NetbookNews.com and I'm in London right now at the Dell Technology Camp and they're showing off, besides all the other stuff, the Latitude 2110, which is an upgrade from the 2100 using a...